At the School of Arts, we welcome a student population that is diverse and differently abled. Should you have a disability, whether it be a long-term medical condition, a mental illness, mobility issues, a specific learning difficulty, visual or hearing impairment, we can assure you of an inclusive experience that ensures everyone has full access to a rich learning and living experience. School was very um, difficult for me because of, I had a lot of sort of issues with self-confidence and you know I wasn't sure I spent a lot of my time trying to sort of blend in and did, I sort of did quite I was quite badly bullied in school but through drama I kind of found something that I was good at and something that I understood and a platform where I could kind of express myself. At Kent the most was as soon as I came here even for just the UCAS day I made friends immediately um, which I didn't do at drama school auditions so that's what I was looking for. I was looking for somewhere that I would really feel at home and offered me the wide range of options for modules that I've been able to take. I registered with the DDSS and my support officers completely understood it. And I, I felt a bit stupid not going to there where I thought people are going to have bigger problems than me. I'm just going to look like I'm kind of feigning it, like I'm just being melodramatic. But they completely understood and they put in place my ILP, which um, meant that I didn't have to explain myself. If, if my mood or something personal was affecting me and affecting perhaps my ability to attend workshops and seminars, um, that was all online for teachers to look at and say, OK, so we know there's these reasons and we know um, something's wrong. So it was just nice not to have to explain myself over and over and over again and worry that people might be thinking that I'm just coming up with excuses. I'm still kind of in shock about how much people cared and wanted to help at Kent because there's no kind of divide between you are a student and you will be here to learn and you will sit there and you'll deal with it and then the hierarchy of teachers and staff above that. Everyone wants to help everyone and that's been apparent since my first week at uni and it still is two years on. Um, once a week I have study support so I can just go to this lady and she will just read over my work, I can go over like spelling, grammar or things I kind of get like a bit stuck on and that means I can kind of structure myself time-wise. So if I have someone to proofread my essay I know I can see her on a Friday so then I can get my work done for a Friday, it'll get looked, looked over and then next week I can hand it in. When stand-up became an option, I felt, this is great because I've done some auditions and stuff here and acting, and actually it does tire me out. So, like, as much as I want to do certain things, I also do have to be realistic. And stand-up was a great choice because I felt like I could be who I wanted to be, I could do what I wanted to do, and it was, a, it was something I loved doing. And I didn't have to compromise anything. I didn't have to sort of say, oh, I can't do this because I can't keep up with people. When I get out of breath on, on stage doing stand-up comedy, I'm like, well, I can make it a part of my act. It's my thing. It's really helped me to come out of my shell because I do have a lot of confidence issues. So it's sort of like, ah, it's, just, it's just been really beneficial. I really thought it was a great idea to set up a support system that's run by the students, that's run by people of the same level as those who might be going through something. Um, and so that's how the Young Canterbury group came about and it's a peer support group so it's always run by young people for young people with lived experience of mental illness and it's just so that they have someone someone to talk to really I think that's our main aim. Well I'm looking to pursue a professional acting career for as long as I can uh, and after that I would hope I'm gonna hopefully do a PGC and then train to become a secondary school teacher and teach drama because I think that the drama teachers in my school helped me gain a lot of confidence and kind of helped me to get to the place that I am now, so I kind of wanted to do that for someone else. Do things for you. Don't worry about what anyone else thinks. Do it for you and how you feel. You know, almost put your visors on and just think, this is, this is where I want to go, this is what I want to do, and I'm not going to let anyone kind of get in the way of that. Um, and if I need support, then so be it, because there's nothing wrong with getting support, um, because at the end of the day, support can bring out the best in you if that's what you need so don't be afraid and there's great you know 
there is so much support out there that you know you don't need to worry about it. That everyone's different and no one's perfect, and just do what you want to do for you, not for anyone else.